Welcome to ENN, Edge News Network. Today we're going to cover the real estate market. What's going on in here in Delaware in real estate? It's November 3rd, 2022. I'm Renee Edge with Keller Williams Realty and I want to share some important numbers and let you know what's going on. There's a lot of talk about, you know, is it a good time to buy? Is it a good time to sell? Should we be investing? What do we do with real estate right now? The interest rates are going crazy. We're hearing all this stuff on the news about the market crashing. But what is actually happening here in Delaware? Right here. So I cover uh, all of the state, mostly Kent and Sussex County though. So I'm gonna share today the, the two counties, the Kent and Sussex County and how they're very different in the market right now and what's happening. Uh, and I've been in both. So I've been helping in both areas. Uh, Delaware is split into three counties, Newcastle County at the top, Kent County in the middle, and Sussex County in the south. Uh, Sussex County has the beach areas and then also the western part of Sussex County, which is more rural. So uh, we'll talk a little bit about all of those numbers. Uh, but first up is some data from the MLS, the Multiple Listing Service. And we can divide the two counties out and show that Sussex County, uh, as of residential properties in the past seven days, has 122 new active, 131 price decreases, so 131 sellers decreased their price, 121 closed, and 65 went under contract, 51 went uh, um, active under contract. So a little over 100 went under contract, uh, 122 came back new, and 121 closed out. So looking at those numbers, it's a little bit even as far as the inventory coming in and the inventory going out and closing and selling. Uh, so it's still a good time. It's not uh, the crazy world that they talk about on the news with the market crashing, not here in Delaware. Uh, there's still multiple offers. There's still, uh, you know, on a nice home and a great location, things like that, move in ready. Uh, you're gonna come up against uh, multiple offers again. So that's still happening. I can also tell you that in Sussex County, currently right now on the MLS, these will be residential listings. It's There's 1,395 listings currently right now. So that's a little high um, when you have buyers choosing between different properties. There's a lot of options for them to choose from. Uh, so that's high inventory. Uh, so and it keeps it keeps going up. I think I think yesterday or the day before I saw somewhere around 1,400. Uh, so that's Sussex County numbers. But when we look at Kent County, things are a little bit different. There's only 445 listings, okay? So inventory is a lot down. There's a lot less for buyers to choose from. And then when we look at the Kent County uh, seven day activity, again, this is data from the MLS. Kent County residential activity for the past seven days shows 51 new listings. Uh, there was 47 price decreases and pending and under contract was roughly uh, 50, 60, about 60 homes were under contract and 84 closed. Uh, so the inventory coming in is 51 and closed is 84. So there's a lot more buyers than sellers in Kent County. Uh, regardless of all this information that I give you, the best thing to do is to call a great agent uh, like myself and have a review of what's happening in your market, uh, which might even go down to your community what's happening in your own community uh, market-wise, uh, that is gonna determine pricing and all those things for selling a home. Uh, buying a home, same thing. We're gonna go over uh, what's happening and, and where, how you can best be prepared to have your offer be accepted. So the other topic is interest rates. About interest rates. So how do we handle these growing interest rates? Well, there's lots of things that can be done both on the buy side and the sell side. You wanna make sure you're connected with a local lender on the buy side, uh, get a, your pre-approvals, find out if there's any programs that can help you with closing costs, maybe to buy down points to lower that interest rate, or um, you know, there's Delaware State Housing Authority that can help uh, with closing costs and, and down payment assists. So there are uh, also individual mortgage companies have their own programs. So there's a lots of helpful things out there that lenders are doing to help buyers combat the interest rates going up. Also for sellers, you want to 
make sure your local real estate agent that you're talking to is connected with some of these local lenders to help also market your home and also be able to guide those buyers that don't have a lender into a great program that they may offer and they're already familiar with your home. So those things, you know, it's all those connections that help make things be successful um, and knowing your data. So I'm happy to share these uh, points with you. If you have any questions about the real estate market, want to buy, sell, or invest, I'm Renee Edge with Keller Williams Realty. My information, my website is going to be below and also in the description says a direct link, but it's going to have all of my information to contact me and I'm happy to have a conversation with you. This is ENN, Renee Edge with Edge News Network, signing off.